Hey everyone, what is up? Today is a wonderful, beautiful fall-like day outside here on the East Coast. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 50s, crack around 60 degrees today, but it is gorgeous outside. The sun outside, a little light breeze, a little cool, but I mean honestly it is wonderful. And finally we have fall color here around the D.C. area, so um, after usually around Columbus Day, it's finally gone to where we can start seeing our colorful fall leaves. Now, I have today, because I want to talk about the cold air that's coming through for the parts of the upper tier of the country and going actually all the way down into the deep south. So, let's get started. Right now we have a jet stream that's pretty much kind of flattened out as of right now, but it has made a dive southward. So we have seen a usher of cooler air coming into parts of the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes region, Northeast, mid, uh, Mid-Atlantic states, and parts of the Deep South. However, that is going to get even colder as we have another uh, couple pushes of cold air from the North coming into the parts of the um, Deep South and the interior Northeast. We have a ton of frost freeze watches, advisories, and even freeze warnings all the way from the interior parts of New York going all the way down into um, Pennsylvania, the Ohio River Valley, and going down to even the Tennessee, excuse me, Tennessee River Valley and the Mississippi Valley. So if you live in parts of these places, you're going to want to bring in your plants this evening because we are expected to have temperatures dip down to the 30s and even the upper 20s in some cases. Um, there's some hard freeze watches and warnings in parts of uh, Kentucky and Tennessee. So places could get down to the upper 20s. So definitely bring in your plants if you have them outside still. Even parts of the upper parts of Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi have frost advisories tonight. This is about two weeks earlier than what we typically see in the South for frost and freeze um, watches and warnings, mainly because we just don't get this type of cold air into parts of the south until the first or second week of November and it's the last week, almost the last week of October and everything. So kind of unusual to see this cold air but it's not unprecedented. We have seen cold air like this before but just widespread frost and freeze advisories and warnings across much of the eastern third of the nation and everything. You already have your cold air already locked into parts of the upper midwest High temperatures are not even getting out of the 40s today in Minneapolis. Chicago yesterday actually saw their first trace of snowfall for the season. It's a bit on the early side for any snowfall, but it didn't amount to anything, just a trace of snow. So that's basically nothing, just, you know, you could pre pretty much measure it, um, sort of say. It was enough to actually be measured, and a trace is just a very thin layer of uh, snow and everything. So not even amounting to a quarter of an inch or anything. So we have definitely the cold air locked in place, and it's going to pretty much cool the temperatures down in this upcoming weekend and early next week for a lot of the east and the midwest and everything. So unseasonably cool, 10 to 15 degrees below your normal highs, which should be in about the mid-50s for the midwest and still in the lower to mid-60s for the northeast and mid-Atlantic states, and around 70, slightly shy of 70 for places in the south, but temperatures are only going to be in the 40s for the upper Midwest, and then going into the 50s for pretty much every other place, except for the Deep South, you can still hang on to a couple 60s, but even places in the mountains, in the Southern Appalachians, you're not going to get out of the 50s this upcoming weekend. And then next week, we have a possible snowstorm, another snowstorm, yes, coming into parts of the Front Range of the Rockies. I'll have more details on this next week and everything, but I just want to give you a heads up. Ski lovers in the Wyoming and Colorado areas, even parts of the Plains states, you could have another significant snowfall coming into your area next week, but more details on that after the weekend is out. I'm also going to start doing weekend outlooks. I'm going to be posting up videos every Thursday and just giving a weekend outlook for Friday, Saturday, Sunday for pretty much the entire country. I'll pinpoint some cities here and there so that way you can see what you have in store for your weather for every single weekend. So I'm going to start doing that tomorrow because tomorrow is Thursday and I hope to see you all then. Until next time, remember to keep your eye to the sky.